YouTube and all inhabitants, this is NDE817 here with another video coming at you. And today, as you can see, we are back in another Minecraft video where if you guys saw my video yesterday, it was a little short film, machinima kind of thing. I did a video about this guy robbing a bank. So today I am actually going to be showing you guys a little behind the scenes of how exactly I made that video. So without further ado, let's just get started step by step of how I made that. Okay guys, so let's start out with the very beginning. So, if you guys remember, uh, and if you guys look very closely behind me, you would have seen the door that I supposedly would have walked through to get into this final room in order to get to all the money on the other side. But, uh, you would have thought, oh yeah, there's a room back there. But if you guys would look very closely, you would figure out that it's actually just a little thing right here. It's a nice technique that you guys can do in your own Minecraft world to make it seem like there's a, there is a room behind you, but you actually don't really feel like making another room. It's just less time consuming, and it is pretty easy to just make this, blo to just place down these blocks to make this two block gap in the wall. So... Next, uh, we are going to be talking about the, um, what we're actually going to be talking about how I actually filmed this. So, uh, I actually filmed this with a mod called the Replay Mod. The Replay Mod is extremely useful. Essentially, what it does is, uh, so say you, you need Minecraft Forge and it, it has come out for 1.12. So, let's say I walk in here and I can just like do whatever I want. But then if I go into one of my replays, which automatically save into my Minecraft, it shows me exactly what, that, what happened, but from a third person view. But not a view like this where you can only see like directly in front of you and it like turns. A view from wherever you'd ever like. So... Uh, I could be like all the way over here and then the replay viewer could be up here and I wouldn't even notice. So uh, that's essentially how I filmed it. Uh, I just edited everything together and uh, yeah, that's essentially how I did it. Next, let's talk about the building itself. So how did I actually build this? Um, well, essentially what I did was I put together a lever combination, which I will show you how to build in this video uh, a little bit later on. Uh, and I just built this little room uh, with five levers on this wall so that when you solve the combination, it opens up the door and then you can go in and get to the money. So now let's just take a look at the actual redstone mechanics itself and I will show you guys how to build it. In, the, in my inventory right here, I should have all the materials needed to build this. So first, just take any building block of your choice, and I think that you are going to want to build uh, an 8 block, or a 4x4 four four, uh, block square right here. So that would be 16 little cubes, and then you just want to punch a 2x2 uh, two two door right in there. Next you want to build this part out six blocks so let's go one two three four five six and then build that up four blocks so that it is level with the rest of your room and real quick let me just set the time to a day and then there we go so uh anyway back to this uh just fill in this entire gap Next, let's take these levers and put five levers down like this. So, the redstone work is kind of complicated to understand, but when you get it, you get it. Like, it's pretty simple to grasp. So, for some reason, I have auto jump on. I'm not really sure why. So, uh, essentially, let's just head over here real quick. Uh, you guys may be thinking, well, all the redstone is off, so why is this open? Well, the trick to that is if i go over to here the thing that you actually have to do is you need to place it so uh we also want to go one block more in there i think actually no 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 it's fine uh you just want to go um you just want to go on the other side and actually place the door so that it actually is open that's essentially what you need to do and then the door is open so how does this actually work so this is where we're actually going to choose our combination. So let's say that I want my combination to be this. We want down, up, down, up, down, 
down. A pretty simple combination, right? So let's just flick all of these levers up. So the levers that you want to be flicked down, you need to put redstone torches on. So in my case, I would put redstone torches on all of those so that when I flick them, the redstone torches should go off. Next, what I need to do is place repeaters on all of these ones that, uh, that, I, that I want flicked up. And then you wanna put another kind of platform thing right here and then grab your redstone and make a straight string of redstone that goes down to there next let's take a redstone output from that and head underneath here and just dig out until we get over to here and then we want to do that and then as you can see the door closes so now you guys are wondering well how do i open this just solve your combination like this flick all your levers down and then as you can see, the door will open. The trick to this is that actually, you want to turn off all of the redstone outputs. So if you were to flick the wrong lever, like say this, the door will immediately close because this is now giving a redstone output down to there. That's essentially, that's essentially what's behind the machine. It's pretty simple and you guys should be able to grasp it quite easily. So then when you're done with that, you can just build a straight path over to here, like so, and then you can make a little room at the end that has some nice juicy ores in it. And uh, yeah, you can essentially just rob your bank. Uh, after you've done that, you might wanna put a little bit of room around here, and then a bit of a door, and then uh, yeah, you should be good. Okay guys, that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out my channel a ton. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's going to be it. Remember to turn on, remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you guys can see exactly when my short film, the next part of my short film, The Heist, is coming out. And um, yeah, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.